morning y'all so this is like a quick little intro because i already have my coffee bright and early i'm about to run a few errands before i have to come back home get dressed and head on out to grab my girl sarah for the barbie movie premiere i made a to-do list of all the things that i wanted to take care of this sunday but unfortunately i'm not going to be able to take care of everything today because um, we are going to go to a brunch after the movie uh, premiere and I thought I was going to be back home but I did promise Wendell that I was going to like grab groceries and ensure that the house was stocked for the week. Um, that way we don't have to run out and you know grab stuff to cook. The cleaners did come on Friday so that part is taken care of. I put the laundry on as you can hear in the background so the laundry, Sunday's laundry is already done so I feel like I'm ahead of the curve a little bit but um yeah i mean who knows because every time i plan on waking up early and getting things done things never really fall into place but i'm determined So not only am I dealing with hail damage, now the air conditioner is not working. And to change the AC compressor is gonna cost more money. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting me another vehicle. I'ma still keep it because it hasn't really been giving me a lot of problems, but yeah, it's too hot in Texas to be dealing with this. Like it's, I've been thinking about getting a new vehicle and this is just confirmation, like I can, play Mr. Fix-It, Build-A-Bear when um, it cools down. But as of right now, like, yeah, I, I'm gonna treat myself. All right, guys, so today we're spending the day doing a little car shop. And I know in the last vlog, I kind of left you guys hanging with little cliff notes or whatever, but um, I've, I've been doing a lot of research trying to figure out what type of vehicle I wanted. I looked at the Mercedes CLS or CLE 350, 450. I've looked at uh, the BMW X5. I've looked at Jag um, Pacer, Jaguar Pacer. Um, I've in Genesis uh, 2012, and Genesis was a part of Hyundai, but they ended up branching off and doing their own thing, and now they are a luxury entity. So my overall choice is the Genesis. Got everything, the 10-year warranty, the luxury, the comfort, the reliability. Now that they are just their own luxury entity, 
yes, there's so many more perks involved. You get the maintenance concierge where they come, they pick you up. They, yeah, they bring you, um, you know, to get maintenance. They bring a loaner to you. You have the first three years free when it comes to maintenance. Um, and then you have the 10 year warranty. Um, is it is it bumper to bumper or? Oh, powertrain, my 2012. I literally, I didn't have any issues with it up until. No, you want to change your cat converter. Yeah. Yeah, it was. We'll put him in. It was the catalytic converters and the spark plugs, and that didn't happen until last year. It was last year we did the catalytic converter. Last year, yeah, either. either way, it was, took a long time for anything major to happen. Yeah, it was over the 10 year um, mark. So I had my, my my Genesis, my Hyundai Genesis sedan. So I had that for now, what, 12 years? Yeah. Well, still had it, but it's been 12 years. And I haven't had any issues with it. So that's why I ultimately fall down to going back with the Genesis. Well, you're good, you're official. Yeah. After that, no, no problem. <laughs> At least I can do it. You spent a lot of money with me today, so. Okay. Jason, how do you feel? Good. I feel good. This is my second purchase um, in my life, but I've had like, four cars already. Mm -hmm. So this is like my second big girl purchase. Uh, my first purchase was my Genesis when um, I was in the military. And now this is my second purchase. I like your nails. Did you get those done for the Barbie movie? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we went to see it yesterday. <laughs> was it amazing? It, yeah, I liked it. Okay. Because I missed and you're done. You don't have to sign it. Oh, okay. you, you, you have survived the gauntlet of signatures. Thank you. So we're making room for your big sister. Had you for a long time, but you still look good 12 years later. Most cars be ran to the ground. So today is the day that we pick up the new vehicle. Um, they called me and told me that the car was ready. So I'm going to head there to bring my baby home. I'm super excited. So yesterday after we finished signing all of the paperwork to finalize the deal, myself and the car salesman, we just agreed to meet around 3 o'clock, 3.30. So just a little backstory real quick. So a few weeks before our Barbados trip, we were at my cousin's house for our get together and it started raining. And then the rain turned into hell. I mean, we ended up having to close the garage and it literally sounded like baseballs were being thrown at the garage. That's how bad the hell was coming down. And of course, once we checked the vehicles, we all knew that, hey, we had hell damage. It was going to be a process. Wendell had a company come over to the home and look at the vehicle. They ended up bringing a rental car and then they took the vehicle. That way they could do a proper estimate and everything like that. So whenever we landed in Barbados, I kid you not, the very next day, um, I was called by the insurance adjuster and I was told that my vehicle was basically total due to the amount of hail damage I had on the vehicle and to repair it it was going to be more than what the car was actually worth so I was like dang man I, I really don't want to be pressured into thinking about this while we're on vacation like I don't know what to do I haven't even thought about another vehicle and I don't know how long because my vehicle was just fine and I was just like okay this is a lot of pressure I'm gonna put it off until we get back to the states so, um, once we got back, I went to the hell place or whatever, I talked to them, and then I talked to the insurance adjuster, and then that's when I really, like, just started looking. And I think I'm gonna just, like, keep my vehicle. It's so reliable. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, and I was just like, man, I don't know what to do. So, that's when the hunt started. So, I was talking to Wendell about it. I was like, man, I think I just want to stick with, um, the current make of my vehicle and just get something different i spoke to my mom about it she was like miffy it's last you this long like and you know it's reliable so i was just like yeah i think i think i'm gonna just stick with it the foundation that i'm putting on is the lancome um ultra wear foundation as you know today is car pickup day so i, I don't want to go over there looking busted i did that yesterday in a few days before that so i actually want to look presentable today so so the battery on my camera was dying so i'm using my iphone right now so we're gonna set the under eye with my laura mercier honey translucent powder 
So for bronzer, we're gonna do the infallible 24 hour wear bronzer. What shade is this? Oh, 450 Deep Tan. So I'm just gonna add a little bit, just to add some color. Then we're gonna go in with this Dewy Finish by NYX. For blush, I'm gonna use this MAC um, Lovejoy Mineralized Blush. I like to do it on like semi-wet skin, damp skin. Blend it out with a sponge. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the OG. This is the Dose of Colors collaboration, uh, Desi and Katie. This is Chasing the Sun. If you know, you know. So for our mascara, I've been loving the Surreal Falsy Mascara by Maybelline. Y'all, when I tell y'all it does everything I needed to do as a mascara, to where I don't even really need to put falsies on if I don't want to. Like y'all, like look at the difference. It's crazy. <laughs> the Bottega dupe sunglasses that I showed you guys in the previous vlog. Looks really cute. Completes the outfit. How much that cost? Mm, I think like 12, 12, 13 hours maybe? Oh, I was going to say 12, 1300. No, I said it was the dupe. <laughs> you really believe that? For real. I'll put the link. Where is it? These sunglasses are 14 dollars Come see me at Hufan's Honey Play Doh. Come see me, I'll hook you up. He's done a really good job, very thorough. Um, he made this whole buying process really, really easy. So definitely come check him out. He has the new car smell. Mm. It smells so good. <laughs> I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yard. It ain't me without the iced coffee. All right, so we done made it home safe and sound, feeling highly blessed. I'm so glad that I was very specific about this interior color. I feel really, really, really good about it, about this purchase. I got exactly what I wanted, and I felt like if I wouldn't have got exactly what I wanted, I would have been beating myself up um, as time progressed, so. Okay, so we have our main screen here, and then if you move down, we have the center console armrest right over here this is like i don't know i just love the details of the dials and this knob here controls um the screen up here with all of the shortcuts for media and navigation and then here we have the home buttons the back buttons this is um the volume and controls to pause the music then we have the gears knob park drive this is the cup holder then here we have a button which opens up the armrest pretty deep. So we have an all digital dashboard here. And then we have cameras. So if you, you know, trying to merge, go the opposite way, you can see that. I love it. I love this feature. And then we have the steering wheel here, black steering wheel to kind of match the trim around. Now, there was another colorway that I was interested in at first. Um, and I was kind of going back and forth between the two. It was either this colorway here or the colorway. It was um, the same like light beige right here. But it was like a almost like a light tan at the top. It was lighter than peanut butter, but it was darker than this. So, you know, it was two, it was two ways. And then the steering wheel was a light tan as well. My biggest fear with all of that was having a light steering wheel and then driving it, you know, having your hands on it 24 seven. I was like, uh, it'll probably get dirty fast. So let me just go with the darker combination. 
all right and then you have your buttons here which controls you know if you want to move forward the way that you set your lumbar all of that and then the seats are heating and cooling seats and the seats massage there's also a subwoofer under the passenger and driver's seat for that base the sunroof is sick love it now i only have a second row that sits three um there is a trim that has the third row but i felt like the like the seats in the third row were very i don't know like they didn't give luxury like i felt like the third row seats were just kind of like thrown in there and the third row seats to me there wasn't enough cushion and it almost it almost looked and felt like i don't know like frontier spirit airline seats to me in the third row so i didn't i didn't you know go with that trim um and then there is a model uh g gv90 that's coming out i think in 2025 i believe 2024 2025 which is going to be bigger than this now that's gonna be crazy because i feel like this is pretty spacious so one of the features that i would not bend on for the backseat passengers was the climate control now if you've ever been a backseat passenger you know the pain and the struggle of not being able to get the air that you want because the front passengers are controlling it so you know you do have the option to lock it if you have kids but i thought that this would be a really cool feature front seat and i'm in the back seat and i'm hot or maybe i'm cold i want to be able to control the air so I, I definitely wanted this feature here and i would not i would not budge on this now another cool feature is the ability to control the front seat from the back seat there are buttons here on the side just as there are buttons on the side for the front passenger to operate but these here you know if you're sitting behind right here and maybe it's too far back then you can move it forward or backwards by just pressing these buttons and then you can also recline and bring forward as well with these buttons now you don't have the option on this side for the driver the driver controls um its own settings then you have your trim lights that you can change to different colors sorry my hand is super shaky you have your car play and usb slots right here and then you have your cigarette lighter down here if you don't have the correct cables for the usb plugins you have your standard lights your sunglasses there's 22 inch rims to add a little pizzazz to the vehicle very spacious now i will have to get some type of like organizer for the trunk and probably a net that way groceries and luggage and stuff won't just kind of spill over or move side to side just to kind of keep it in place but yeah and then i just noticed that this comes with a box oh this is like for the tires and then from the back you can press a button and the seats go down the front seats need to go up a little bit more but yeah you guys get the drift there's a cigarette lighter right there for charging purposes 